Well, Begim, first of all, as your coach, uh, I have a question. <laughs> Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Yes, that's the plan. For yesterday. Right? For yesterday. <laughs> but why for yesterday? It was your uh, like mistake, you know? I lost the game. So, so your loss was my mistake. Okay, I'll take it. I'll yes. take it. That's <laughs> Explain to us uh, today's game. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, at some point, uh, I, I thought I was like winning, and I don't know what happened. So it was a successful opening, it felt. Look at you, you did your D4. job. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm being attacked here. Okay, F takes C6, F takes C6. Yes, that's pretty decent. Uh, here. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Queen B6. I didn't like this move. Queen is not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I felt like she had to play knight somewhere. Like, yeah, knight. Knight F6 or knight H6. Yeah. She needs to develop any... Um, Anyways, and she has to somehow protect e6 pawn. So that's why I thought after queen b6, my position should be winning because knight g5 and knight d2 is coming. And it was indeed. And I think her only chance was something very unnatural to go here, 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 take, and now long castle. Um, but I mean, obviously. Even this one position looks winning, no? Yeah, yeah. This one it should is. Should be like. This one is definitely winning as okay. well. You have to be a bit careful, but it's I still winning. Is coming, no? But then something happened. Um, yeah, something happened. I, I wasn't sure about a4. I, I wanted to play immediately b4. b4, OK. Yeah, but I thought it would be too much. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I, I just had to go for it. But C takes b, bishop e3. Have you, have you learned about this thing called development? <laughs> <laughs> this, I have This thing yet. where you <laughs> take your pieces no, out look, first, bishop e3, and then The whole idea of b4 is that. If you, uh, if you take on before, I develop with a tempo, you know? I've, told, I've been told that if you can develop with a tempo, it's always good. Yeah. Some, some people will blame me that I'm not teaching you development <laughs> stuff. All right. And you played this uh, B4, cafe, yes. take, take. And I guess once again, have you... <laughs> yeah. Development, you know, bishop e3, c3. My original idea was just to play bishop e3. Then we got the position. Before we got the position, at some point, I just realized that I have a very interesting move, d4. Mm. The idea is that if she takes on d4, then I'm playing bishop f4. So mm -hmm. I'm developing the uh, bishop uh -huh. as a tempo. <laughs> like a tempo, okay. That makes sense. Well, I like it. It's just giving me a pawn. It's not a, a lot, Ooh, right? I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. So, okay. It was just a beautiful move. I, I did understand, like, after h6, it's not that clear. Uh, but I thought my knight on h4 would be better than uh, on g5. And she had time trouble. That's why I thought I'm putting some pressure on her. Did but, you spot this uh, extra option of knight to g4 yeah, for her? Yeah, but I thought I'm better after knight g4. Knight takes g6? Yeah, or? and then I'm playing bishop f4. And then rook takes f4. I can take. Then d3. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what's your idea? If so I the idea was that if you bishop take, you, you're you not going to take. Yeah, you're going to yeah, give a check e and then knight to e5. But okay, it's... It's difficult it's with low difficult time to, on the clock. To find it, no? yeah. And Absolutely. still her uh, king is not that safe. No, no. I, I would be glad to have this position. I don't care about the engine. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, of course. Um, and she played bishop e8. And it felt like you're Here, finally breaking uh, through, right? I, I wasn't sure if bishop b8 was a correct move. Like, I didn't see, I, I had a feeling that after bishop b8, I'm just winning because everything is collapsing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what I did wrong. It just, I don't know. Well, I think you know what you did wrong. Bishop b5, rook b7, yeah. knight f3, rook f8. Oh, see, so oh my goodness. Development. Oh, please. What, what, what is your queen doing? Um, no, I had this idea. I don't know why. I thought after bishop b6 and bishop a6, I'm just winning. I totally missed uh, uh, bishop d7 move. So, so you calculated bishop takes h Yeah. I, I thought I'm just winning. I didn't see any moves, and I didn't have much time. That's why I decided to go for it. And then after I got the position, I was like, oh, my God, what I'm going to do after bishop d7? Mm -hmm. that, was, that was bad. <laughs> yes, uh, but you kept going, and when did you feel like you were getting some extra chances once again? At what point? Uh, I, after I saw that uh, I can play rook a7 and bishop uh, c7. c7, I thought, okay, I'm going for it, but I, I repeated because I, I had like very low time. Mm -hmm. 
So basically, this position, I thought I'm going to win this position. Uh, okay, again, the engine can sure. uh, can hold it. I do believe it. But like as a human, how would you play this position? Mm -hmm. Like you're not a little bit stuck, and I'm taking the three pawn anyways, and you have uh, like weak pawn, pawns, g6, and then h6. I I just didn't see how she's gonna like uh, play. Uh, I couldn't see the set, uh, setup for her. So I was like, probably I'm going to win this position. So given that you did miss that move, bishop to d7, you managed to readjust psychologically and still play for a winning. I was yeah. happy to have a play, but like, uh, I wasn't forced to just repeat the moves. Repeat that's, the why, that's why I was like, OK, if I have a chance, I'm, I'm just going to try. Absolutely. And then you got into uh, this. And bishops of opposite color position. I'm not sure not about knight d3, but it felt like after knight d3, I have huge chances to win the game. Okay. Like, yeah, I should be very careful. I shouldn't miss this h4 idea, and I need to place my uh, bishop on d6, which uh, like which always holds because of e e6. That was mm -hmm. my idea mm -hmm. before I played knight d6, knight d3. I imagined that. I, I play c5, bishop d6, g3, and king uh, goes to f6, and mm -hmm. that's how I should be winning. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like... Yeah. And let's one. go towards that moment, because it did she feel that... She found some good uh, like, moves, I guess. And here she played this move, king to e6. Oh, that was a disaster. Like, king needs to stay... Stay on this yeah. side, king to c6. And how are you planning on trying to make progress at this point? Uh, probably I'll put king on a f5. Okay, king f5. Okay. Now it seems like bishop to e8 might be the only move, which is not an easy move to to make. Your idea is to play bishop d7 and king d5. That's how Correct. we want to hold it. Yes. I yes. also thought if I can, like, if she can get that position, she has, uh, like... But what if you push your pawn all the way to e6 now? And this is the key. Now you have, it seems, h4. h4. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now it works for some reason. Yeah. Well, she didn't find it. She played the move king to e6. And after that... Maybe she didn't have time to find anything. She did not. <laughs> yes, right. yes. She did not. It's a huge factor. That's why I just went to this end game. Okay, I'm not like... It's not easy for her uh, to play this, and I'm not forcing anything. Mm -hmm. So uh, she needs to find moves in like 30 seconds. It's like insanely hard in, the, in such positions, I guess. It's easy to blunder. Congratulations, Begim. A big Thank victory, you. a bounce back victory for, uh, for you after yesterday's loss. How would you assess your performance so far? Oh, yesterday was a disaster. I was marching my king on e4, <laughs> which, was, which was a great idea. I'm happy about my idea. Even today, uh, about like b4 and d4 moves, I'm finding some good uh, like ideas, beautiful moves to play, but I'm not like uh, finishing <laughs> of my <laughs> opponents. Uh, yeah, yesterday it was just a blunder. I, I I meant to play g6 first, but for some reason I thought like king f3 is not good. I was looking for other moves, and it, it was just a blunder. Like I forgot about g6 idea. So so well, far it's all right. <laughs> a win is a win. Two out yes. of three. Still in third position right now. Thank you, Begim. Congratulations, uh, Begim. Can I ask a question? Um, sure. I know that Begim, she comes from chess family. Her father plays chess, her sisters, all, everybody plays mm -hmm. chess. And even though they're in Uzbekistan right now, do they follow the tournament? I mean, are they checking your games online or they do it next day? I mean, of course, like my family, everyone like checks my games, uh, my results. But sometimes it's too late, I guess. Uh, like now it's 2 or 3 a.m. there, so probably mm -hmm. My sisters are not watching, but my dad might be watching. So <laughs> he's my huge fan. He always watches my games uh, live. Yes. Do you feel their support when you play any tournament? Of course. I, I just know that they are always uh, by my side. They, they have been like my whole life, huge support for me. I know that they are for me all the time. Yeah, and the last question, like, Begin played on the first board for the national team, and I was wondering, like, does it, do you feel like extra responsibility now that you kind of <laughs> need to prove something, maybe even win this uh, championship? No, I never feel like I'm responsible to prove some, something to someone else other than me, so other than myself. Mm. I'm just playing here. Uh, 
I think I'm just like as others trying to play my best chess. That's all. I don't. I never thought about like, oh, I had the four sport. I have to like show something. No. Okay. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much, guys. Absolutely, uh, our congratulations indeed.